Hey everyone, Justin Cofield here. I am in Southwest Austin, the province community. We're looking at Newmark Homes today. We'll give a look at this big, beautiful Texas sky. Newmark has been building in Texas for about 15 years uh, in Houston and in Austin. This is kind of my first experience with Newmark. So we're gonna walk through this model and take a look. This is the Koblenz model. Uh, in Provence. I would say that uh, Newmark homes in Provence are kind of the entry level for this community, uh, kind of in that six to 700,000 range. So certainly not a starter home, but definitely entry for this community, uh, which is a great community to be in. So um, let's take a look at this Koblenz model with Newmark homes. It comes in at four bedroom, three bath, 2,797 square feet. As soon as you enter the home, I notice these great big high ceilings. Uh, we've got several things on side to side. Here's a sales office here, which is normally the garage, but we're gonna go all the way to the middle of the home, uh, the center of the home where life typically happens most. I love all this natural light kind of pouring in from the double-decker windows there facing the rear. Interesting looking staircase here. Uh, we'll check it all out. We'll see the whole thing. Uh, but I do uh, want to take a look at what's going on here in this um, open concept living area. We've got a family room. We've got kind of an open dining area, an open loft upstairs. It's kind of tucked away under there, and I like that. I like that it's open. Kitchen is not gigantic, but it's also not small. There's some good amount of cabinetry. You've got double uppers there. Uh, you've got a corner um, pantry. So there's a good amount of storage space, but it's also not a gigantic kitchen. Uh, I would say this would be a great um, home for a smaller fam family, um, maybe four or five people. It is in the um, like the lower end of the square footage for this community. You've got your oven, your microwave there built in. Here's your pantry. We'll get a, a glance at that. And then what would normally be the laundry room here, I don't really know what's going on. I'm assuming because this is a model home, this is a um, setup to show how a kitchen could be in another home. But normally this would be the laundry room and garage access. So we'll leave that alone for now. We'll continue to look through um, this model. Give you one more view of the kitchen there. I like the floors, nice looking floors. It's kind of a white oak feel. Uh, the family room is also not gigantic. It's not super spacious. It feels big because it, it's got the you know open, open ceiling, a really high ceiling. Um, it's got this corner fireplace that's gas. So it's not gigantic, but it's also, you know, not too small. It's pretty cozy. Let's check out the uh, owner suite here. I do like this. It's got a trade ceiling. It's got um, these rear facing windows kind of feel like a bay window, but it's not a bay window. And here, let me tell you what I mean. It has a bay window feel in that uh, they kind of jut out a little bit, but it's not a true bay window. But I, what I like about it is that there's room for a couple of chairs here, um, maybe a small couch, a sitting area. And if you don't have a sitting area in your bedroom, you are missing out. We'll take a look at the bathroom. You've got a nice frameless shower here. I do like the tile choices. Uh, there's a contrast. You've got dual vanity, plenty of storage in here, soaking tub. We'll go all the way back and see the closet. Well, I lied. We're going to look at the uh, linen closet and then the owner's closet, the primary closet. There's a good amount of hanging space in here. You could do some built-ins if you wanted. Not a gigantic closet, but again, this is not a gigantic house. At 2,700 square feet, 2,800 square feet, it's not a gigantic square house. A gigantic uh, house, sorry. I bumbled over my words. I do like the fixture in the shower coupled with the tile. Really gorgeous. It did a good job on the shower. I really like it. It's got a little um, seat in there. I like the frameless. I like the tile choices. It flows really well. It looks really nice. Nice uh, soaking tub as well. So I'm a fan of that. 
as I said, not a gigantic house, probably four, a family of four, maybe five, uh, but still a nice looking house. I like how the stairs kind of um, go to an angle. They're not like a like a rotunda staircase, but uh, I like the wood on them. That gives it a nicer feel, a classier feel. And then you've got carpet uh, everywhere in the second floor. So carpet in the bedroom, some people love it, some people hate it. Uh, I don't hate it. Um, it makes a bedroom quieter for sure. It doesn't look as nice, but um, you can you can select really nice carpet to go in a bedroom and have that quiet, cozy feel. So you've got a flex room here that could be a game room. It could be um, homeschool area. It could be a play area for the kids, but then it's connected to what um, they've got set up as like a media room here. So you've got one window that you would have to kind of black out, but not a huge deal. They have a desk over here. You could set up um, to have like, you know, a homework area, study area, which is super cool, but they've got this set up as a movie room. It's not huge again, uh, but if you're looking for a house with a media room, this would be perfect for that. I love the posters here. You've got Forrest Gump. You've got Back to the Future, one of my personal favorites, and E.T. Definitely love the 80s theme going on there. Let's see what else this second floor has to offer. Here's a hallway kind of going off this direction. So we're going to check it out. We'll go all the way back. There's a full bath here, shower tub combo, but I love the honeycomb tile on the floor. I love the uh, wall tile going up to the ceiling in the shower. I'm a fan. It looks nice. It's great. And then you've got this bedroom here with rear facing windows. Not a huge bedroom for a secondary, but you know, it gets the job done. Let's see what the closets look like. Oh yeah, huge walk-in closet. So I'm a fan of that. Yeah, not bad for a secondary bedroom, huge walk-in closet. You've got kind of a private-ish bathroom right outside the door here, so there might be a good uh, possibility for a guest suite or a guest room. We'll walk back through here. On the other side, you've got a full bath here as well. Oh, I like this tile, really like this tile. Very, uh, I would say, luxury looking. Um, this is not your standard builder grade tile. It makes it look more high-end than it is and I like that I think those are some great choices so you cross the uh, across where the stairs are and there's a couple of other bedrooms over here looks like you've got a Jack and Jill situation fun tile on the floor I like that we'll, we'll see that more in a minute so here is uh, another uh, secondary bedroom I like the accent uh, paint color around the middle of the room kind of a sports theme here super cool we'll go back out Again, Jack and Jill bathroom here. You've got a single vanity and then a door to uh, close it off. I love it when they do that. If you're going to do Jack and Jill, that's the only way to do it. You open it up. You've got your uh, toilet. Your toilet's back there. Shower tub combo. Yeah. Nothing fancy. Just a, uh, a regular old Jack and Jill. I do like the tile on the floor, the honeycomb tile. So we'll uh, check out this other bedroom over here. Here's the entrance to the Jack and Jill from this side. There you go. And then our fourth bedroom in this house. I like the accent colors on the wall. These model homes always have it set up super fun. And then again, another huge closet. Newmark did great on these closets in this house. If you're looking for a house with big closets in every room, um, this one's got it. Lots of storage space. Let's go back and check out that flex space one more time. The only complaint that I have here is that it's more of like a loft because you can look over into the first floor. Uh, I don't know how much noise spillover there is. And um, I'm always worried about that. But again, if it's just like a sitting area up here or a game area, it's probably not terrible. Um, but do know that it's kind of a loft situation. I guess you've got the media room if you wanted to uh, block off, um, you know, watching movies from the downstairs area and kind of section those off. Really pretty staircase. I really like how the staircase um, flows. It's really gorgeous. I want to check out this dining area. So 
there's not like I mean it's a it's a it's a dedicated dining space and I like the the accent wall um, and it's probably not big enough to actually be closed off so they did it right but you know it is what it is it's a it's a dedicated dining space you got a little um, half bath here under the stairs super cute I love that they put it there great for guests to use there's a sales associate in there which would normally be your garage and then here at the front of the home you've got your laundry fun tile on the floor and then this model home has this option for um, either another bedroom or an office here I like those windows I've never seen that in uh, a new construction it is an option on this house but uh, kind of gives it some flair I like that again this um, this bedroom is at the front of the home. It's got front facing windows and it's got a private bath. So this would be your guest suite. You've got a bathroom here with a stand up shower, great tile and a walk in closet. It's got some sales stuff stored in here. Um, but yeah, this is a, is a great um, bonus guest room for weekend guests, friends, family, that sort of thing. They did a good job on it. So I'm liking this Newmark home um, so far. I think these come in uh, in the high 600s, low 700s. Um, we're going to check out the back porch here in just a moment. This would normally be your garage. So garage entry would be there. They've got it set up as a sales office. Kind of do a walk back through. I do like the high ceilings in this living room. Even though the living room's not huge, it feels, it doesn't feel crowded because it's got these high ceilings. So I really like that. There's good natural light. Love the double decker windows on the uh, in the living room. Let's check out the back porch. Not a huge back porch. It is covered. I like that. I'm a fan of covered porches. Model home is always landscaped to the T. So yeah, it's pretty basic. Nothing super fancy about it. I like the limestone all the way around. We'll walk back through and give you one more look. As I said earlier, my name is Justin Cofield. I'm a realtor uh, here in Austin, Texas. I live in Southwest Austin and I've lived very close to this community. I'm going to put my uh, info in the notes. I have people reaching out all the time to ask about homes and neighborhoods and where to live in Austin. Uh, what to do in Austin. Um, I would love to answer questions for you, so I'm going to put my number, and uh, please feel free to call, text, email. Uh, also, if you would not mind um, hitting that subscribe button, subscribe, like, notifications. I put out new content every week. I'd love for you to be a part of my tribe. I would love to help you find what you're looking for. I hope you have a great day, and as always, thanks for watching.